Hey there, this is K4A Knowledge for All Educational Videos channel. In today's video we are going to learn how to import Sprite in Game Maker Studio 2. So if you have watched previous video we have made a Sprite, if you have not just right click on any folder in your asset browser in Game Maker Studio and create Sprite and that's it, you have a new Sprite placeholder for your image, for your game, for your sprite. Sprite means image, but the problem is here that uh, we don't have any image in it yet. It's empty, it's just like an empty folder, empty placeholder. So, to put some image in it, uh, you have to import it in uh, Game Maker Studio 2 or cr create it in Game Maker Studio 2. So, there are two ways. Uh, today, we are going to learn the first one how to import the image and that means that you have some kind of image some kind of sprite already uh, for your for your game made earlier so uh, it can be yours um, i don't know if you are an artist and you can make uh, artwork or uh, you can uh, buy it and you can uh, take it from someone or someone can make it for you but importing means you already have some kind of image all you have to do is uh, uh, open your sprite which you have made earlier like this sprite 6 for example and I'm going to zoom it for you can so you can see it better so click on this import button and it will take you to uh, your um, desktop to your computer uh, whatever you use and there you can find the uh, whatever image you want to import I'm going to use some kind of artwork which I made for my game some kind of uh, battle battle which is um, for some kind of wizard game so I'm going to select it it is a JPEG you can also use uh, PNG for transparent images and so on uh, and click on open and uh, game maker warns you uh, that importing files to sprite is uh, not an undoable action do you want to continue yes and that's it uh, this is how you import the image in in my case it's again very very simple ugly uh, pencil drawing of some kind of bottle with some kind of liquid in it it doesn't look uh, very good for now but it uh, is uh, good enough for my game and you can see uh, the moment when uh, I uploaded it those two parameters here uh, W and H change W means width and H height so uh, the this image this sprite is uh, 20, uh, 236 pixels wide and 236 pixels uh, in height uh, and when you made the placeholder uh, by default it's 64 by 64 in width and height so those um, dimensions can change and this was again uh, by um, importing a sprite by clicking import and finding it the other way is to uh, just uh, go to your uh, uh, desktop or again whatever kind of uh, uh, system you use Windows or, or whatever and find the image you want in my case it's on desktop so I can just click on the desktop and drag and drop it into the Game Maker Studio 2 so uh, uh, again uh, I'm going to first to find the Sprite 6 this is uh, which we have made. I'm going to try to import it now into Sprite Enemy and yeah it works. So you can first make a Sprite pl placeholder then import it uh, by drag and dropping from your desktop or, or uh, click on import button or the third way is uh, to drag and drop it into the workspace before you even made the Sprite placeholder. So just click the image from your desktop and drag and drop it onto your workspace and automatically Game Maker Studio is smart enough to make a sprite for you so uh, maybe for some of you this is faster I don't know or more practical or uh, makes more sense I don't know I use mostly this import when I import and sometimes 
sometimes I drag and drop, I don't know, mostly just uh, importing it by button. So in this video that's what we have learned today, uh, 5 minutes, okay, long enough, let's go to another topic.